day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So this is a combination Tinkercad tutorial today. So a user reached out saying, hey, how can I get this design smooth without the holes in it? I still want the curvature, but I want it to look like this. Now I fiddled around and tried to do it in Tinkercad, but instead I've got steps for you in Mesh Mixer. Step one, of course, is to export the part as a STL. I'm going to name him Shy Guy, and I'm going to put him in my Downloads folder. Next, you need to open Mesh Mixer. Mesh Mixer is not supported anymore, but you can still find the download. And then we are going to choose Import. Once again, it was in the Downloads. Double click, and boom, it brings it in. Now, these are the steps that I like to use for a project like this. First, I'm going to click Analysis and choose Inspector and see if there's anything wrong in the design. It found something here it doesn't like. I'm going to just hit Auto Repair All. It worked and solved that. Now, next, we've got these holes. We're going to fix that with the Select tool. You can change the size if you want. I'm not going to bump it down by too much, but I'm just going to trace this hole, making sure that I get the inside edge as well. So notice I'm going to right click and orbit so I can see that I got all of that all the way back. You can roll your scroll wheel to zoom in. You want all those little spots selected. If you miss them, you'll have to come back and get them. So that's why I'm double checking to make sure I get them all on the first try. There's one back there that I missed few back here but I don't think that's gonna hurt anything now I'm gonna just hit delete on the keyboard and it cuts all those areas out trust me we'll fill them back in a little bit later I do I do want to get rid of these two sections right here that I missed so I'm gonna zoom in and make sure I get a good look at them select select and once again delete let's continue and I'm gonna take this back up to the 50 or whatever it had before so maybe it'll be a little faster if you ever make a mistake, just do clear selection. Once again, switch back to your select tool, which is the letter S. This time I'm just clicking and grabbing. Do want to make sure that I've got every angle selected because it just makes it a little faster. And delete on the keyboard. That one's going to be even better than the one before because it doesn't have this little zigzag. And finally, click, 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 click. Let's get rid of all of this as well. You can right click on your mouse and drag so that you can orbit and get the view from every side. And finally, you need to hit delete. Do not hit the letter D, that is not the same thing. Friends, at this time I'm gonna do Control A to select all, choose edit, and I am going to make it solid bingo it goes through and fills in the eyes now you'll notice it's not as smooth as we want I am gonna just say fine and take it the way it is now I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna inflate these so there is a sculpting tool if we go to our brushes like I said I want to inflate so I'm gonna use this one right here and I'm just gonna inflate this a little so I am dragging and puffing it up same thing over here nothing perfect if I don't like what I did I can do control Z so notice I moved up the middle for sure I don't want that and I'm just click drag a little so I can get it the way I want you could work a ton to get this perfect but watch this if I do control A and I move over to deform smooth when I click on it, I can tell it I want max smoothness. Now it crashed, but I'm just going to relaunch it and give it another shot. So despite that crash, I'm just going to close it because I don't want to submit. When I relaunch Mesh Mixer, it tries to bring it back. So I'm going to tell it to restore. All right, so let's do Control A. So we've got it all. And then let's do Edit. And I want to do reduce. I want to make it so there are a lot fewer triangles. I don't really care about the shape, so I'm going to say that I want them uniform. And I'm going to try and reduce it by, say, 70%. And 
and then simply hit accept. I'm also going to switch from views and I want to see the wireframe so you can see how that made the triangles pretty darn smooth. I'm going to reduce it again because I think it'll still keep its shape. That's pretty sweet. And then I'm also going to do remesh. Once again, you'll see I'm dragging the density down. Friends, as you can see, we have got that mask. I'm going to just keep shape preserving, tell it accept, and bingo. We can now take this design, choose file, choose export, and bring it back into Tinkercad. I'm going to call this Shy Guy 3. And you'll have the same sort of shape, but now you can do all your fun Tinkercad cuts with it. Here we are in Tinkercad, choose import. Of course, we have to go to our downloads and there is Shy Guy 3. I'm gonna keep the measurements and choose import. Friends, as I wrap up, I wanna say thanks again to the Rydell Gallery. That is who reached out with this little Shy Guy face and said, hey, how can we fill in the holes but still play with the shape? And I think Mesh Mixer is a really slick tool for making that happen. I just quickly took this shape and made it a hole. Let's do shift select and see what it looks like if we do control G and group it. After a moment, oh my gosh, how cool is that? Let's give it a different color and I think that is pretty darn awesome. Finally friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.